Hey everybody, this is Congo Kong, also known as Steve Wilson, and this is Ambi. Hey everyone, it's Alicia from Ambi, and I would like to welcome you to my interview with Steve Wilson, aka Congo Kong. Hello! How's it going? Awesome, how are you doing? I, I can't complain. I want to say thank you so much for joining me today at BCW. Thank you for having me. Of course. I'm here with actually the BCW champion. So how are you feeling about the match and everything that's about to go down tonight? I'm excited. Uh, how often does does one get to, to to wrestle a legend, like one of the greatest luchadors of all time? Like, and that's no lie. That's no fluff. Like, this is Ray Mysterio Jr. We're talking about. I, I, absolutely, I'm super excited. Well, this month actually marks 19 years of wrestling for you. So when you think about that number and kind of reflect on everything, what's running through your mind? I'm blessed, blessed, fortunate. Um, Sometimes I can't believe I made it this far, and I uh, can't wait to see what, what the future holds, and hopefully there's another 19 in me. When you think back to the first out of 19, what, is kind of, what are some of the first things that you think of? Uh, long road trips, little pay, um, <laughs> doing it strictly because I loved it. And now I love it and I get paid for it, so. I know that wrestling for you has brought you around the globe. You've performed in so many cool places like India, China, all across North America. But is there anywhere you would love to take your craft and perform that you haven't yet? Uh, Japan. I'd love to go to Japan, England, South America, uh, you name it. I want to conquer the world. When I say that, I mean that literally. I want to go everywhere and learn from everyone. Recently, you competed in the Impact Wrestling 20-man gauntlet, which we saw Eli Drake win. Are your eyes now set, though, on that Impact Global Championship, or what's kind of running through your mind in that sense? Like I said, when I, wanna, when I said I want to conquer the world, that's part of it's it. Kong versus the world. Everywhere I go, I want to get the title, and I want to I wanna have a nice long run with it and be the man on top. One of my favorite things about watching you wrestle is one second you'll be doing a super powerful move, the next thing I know you're on that top rope about to fly. And do you love seeing the reaction on people's faces still, the shock that you're able to give? It's, it's really the whole reason that we do it, that, you know, we want to see that reaction. We want, we want to know that we are actually out there entertaining the fans, the humanoids, as Bobby the Brain Heenan would say. Here we're seeing a really colorful version of your face paint, and I feel like we, a lot of the time, don't see the same thing twice. So, what was the first time you did the face paint? Hmm. I don't know if there was a story behind it or why you put it on for the first time. Yeah, because somebody asked me to paint my face, and, uh, <laughs> and, and uh, the way he worded it was to be a cross between Umaga and Kamala, and maybe the first couple times it was like that, but eventually it had to become kind of your my own, own thing. thing. Yeah. And I, I'm glad I, you know, stuck to my guns and just kind of did my thing. Well, I want to talk music with you because I was kind of wondering, who does Congo Kong enjoy listening to? <laughs> Funny story. Uh, I was doing a road trip and um, Joe Coleman and I were riding to a show together and um, we we're listening to my music selection and he looks at me and he goes, Steve, who hurt you? <laughs> I like a lot of soft, easy listening, uh, keep me calm type stuff. If, if, it's, if, if it's too aggressive, I feel like then I become aggressive. So, you know, I'd rather keep it easy and, you know, stay relaxed. Um, you know, your Brian McKnight's and your, your uh, uh, I don't know, a lot of, lot of stuff, a lot of, lot of different genres um, cross, cross a, a really wide range of stuff. Knowing Joe, that's a complete opposite of the stuff he listens to. I <laughs> actually interviewed him, and he was like, yeah, we listen to a lot of like crazy metal stuff and uh, 80s music, so it's all super hyper. Right, and he right. gets in the car with you, and it's just smooth. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, if you could have any artist write to some entrance music for you, who would you love to see do that? Ooh. Hmm. Yeah. I've always been a big fan of... Um, a lot of bass in my music and I, I want it to reflect in my walk or I want to be able to walk and have the, the, the music syncopated with my walk, you know, and people be like, whoa, here he comes. So, um, I don't know. I don't know. I have any uh, necessarily like a, a specifics. A, yeah. Any kind of artistic preference or whatever, but Whoever, whoever can deliver the most bass and make me sound as bad as possible. 
I'm glad you mentioned the walk there, because as we were coming into the interview, you had this super cool walk, and it's like iconic Congo Kong. <laughs> I started kind of trying to emulate it, like the head up and the strenuous stuff, and I'm like, it's perfect. Does that confidence just hit you as soon as you put the head up? Where does that come from? <laughs> uh, watching a lot of George Jefferson. <laughs> when I was a kid, he had that, that walk with The presence. Would, yeah, and, and you know, sometimes you just, if you don't have your own thing, then you emulate somebody else until you get your own. Okay. Until it becomes yours. Well, just to wrap things up, is there anything you would like to say to all of your fans who will be viewing? I, I would just like to say thank you. Thank you so much. I don't get to, uh, to speak. You never see me in paint saying anything, but uh, without you, I'd just be some weirdo in face paint and spandex rolling around with other dudes, you know. But no, because of you, because of you the fan, um, I get to live my dream. And that's something special. So, again, thank you very, very much. Beautifully put. Thank you so much for joining me today. Thanks for having me. And remember to everybody viewing, you can visit us at musicblogger.com for all exclusive interviews, features, videos, and so much more. See ya. Mm -hmm.